It would fulfill a need downtown, but a new high rise comes at a cost to you. New at 10 o'clock, 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dial digging deeper tonight and looked at what your money would pay for, Stephen. Mike, the concern is how much is too much. As you can see this behind me, the parking garage and the tower that the city would have to pay for could cost about $60 million worth of an investment. Some leaders are questioning how much the city should be responsible for. I think a question that I have asked and that several of my colleagues have asked is how many more garages are we going to build? A new office tower and parking garage in the heart of downtown, a decade old deal for the power and light district requires the city to fund parking garages for new buildings. I know the normal person who's watching 41 Action News right now says I pay 100% of my taxes each year. Uh, why is it that somebody else may not be or why are they getting some level of subsidy? Councilman uh, Quentin Lucas says the there has to be a balance. The current price tag for the city, about $30 million dollars for the parking garage and another 30 million dollars in investment. Honestly, we do need some more parking personally, but paying for it is another story. We ask people who live downtown one question. Is the investment worth it? You know, I, that's tough. That is tough to swallow. So I don't know. I really like what's happened. I like what Mayor Barnes did to start this all off. Um, so I guess I guess uh, the jury is out for me on that question right now. Lucas says he is for bringing more office space and jobs. The parking garage would have about 750 parking spots and would be open to the public on nights and weekends. He wants to make sure the city is benefiting. Part of the project with the parking garage and the tower is a negotiation of if there is some way they can get money to the Kansas City School District earlier because there are serious things that we do with the taxes people pay. Now the issue will go before council again in January. Mike.